Hello. Hello. Welcome to So You Think You're Iconic, the movie podcast where we watch some very questionable movies. Yes. And you know what? We do this to ourselves Mm -hmm. every time. I quite like a bad movie. Sometimes we go too far. Yeah. (laughs) But I I like a bad movie. I don't know if we went too far on this one, but it got close. Oh, it got very close. It got very close. It got very close. <laughs> Something pushed me over the edge, but Kelly doesn't know about it, so I'll tell her that when we get yeah. to it. Yeah. Apparently, uh, I missed it. Yeah. Once the movie ended, I was like, I will not subject myself to credits. I'm out. I don't know what happened, but something possessed me. It was possessed me to be like, just keep going. I don't know why. Something. There was like. 10 minutes of like credits there was but something was like there's something else jordan like something in my spirit was like (laughs) there's something else and i was right i'm psychic (laughs) you i mean i mean i would have already we already like said that you have like the power of speech i do but but i also would have found out when i was looking up movie facts which by the way there aren't that many so yeah. I'm not surprised. But yeah, I would have found out anyway, but intuitively, I knew it. <laughs> you felt it. I felt it. Well, how was your week, Kelly? It was pretty good. Um, I tried Dutch Bros for the first time. Ooh, I've never had it. Yeah, so um, my cousin came down because she needed a break from school, and so... Uh, we have a Dutch Bros in the area and she wanted one and I'm just like bro I've never been so she immediately drove to Dutch Bros she made me download the app so I can get a free drink um I Ooh, got you get a free drink just for downloading the app well you get a free drink after your first purchase okay but they also give you like 150 points which is more than halfway towards a free drink oh okay which I am a big fan of but anyway, I got something called a galaxy fish. It's one of their teas. It's got strawberry, lime, and passion fruit. Oh, that sounds delicious. It's so bomb. It's so freaking good. And then she got something called Dragon Slayer. I don't know if that's the full title. What's with these names? I don't know, but it's she got a Dragon Slayer Rebel. And Honestly, the only way, it's like the most spot on description. It tastes like a purple nerd. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was good. Okay, that sounds interesting. Yeah, so I'm very impressed with Dutch Bros. I'm going to have to go back for my free drink. I can't wait to try it. Never had it. I always see people on Instagram going. Yeah, same. Same. Also, like, the line is always long at the Dutch Bros near my house. Like, it's it looks absurdly long. So I've never been, like, tempted to wait in, like, a 40-minute line oh. for a drink. See, no. Because I don't even yeah, live see. anywhere near one. I would, have to, I would have to be already in the area. It's not yeah. something I'm trying to cut off my way for. Yeah. Yeah. And last night, the line wasn't that long. There was at least, like, four other cars in front of us. So it wasn't that bad. Oh, maybe maybe the novelty of it is going away. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, their menu is so huge, so it's kind of intimidating, like when you look it up. Oh, I hate large menus. Me too, because I'm it like... It me out. It does. Like, if it's smaller, then it makes my decision easier. But if there's too many, I like either too many things on the menu or I don't like any of it. Exactly. Because I'm overwhelmed. But yeah, it was so good. I think I have another, I'll have to go there a couple more times before I recommend it, but it's pretty good. Okay. Oh, also, I have a interview on Monday. Yay, Kelly. Let's go. go. Hopefully it goes well. Hopefully they're not a, okay, I'm not, I hope they're a good fit for me because I really need a job. Save. Right. (laughs) Right. Oh, and I heard back from... Uh, the rescue that I want to get the dog from. Oh, are you getting your dog? Well, we have to meet her first, and we're going to set that up hopefully this week. 
And then if it all goes well, I'm an adopter. I'm going to be a dog mom. Oh, I've never gone through the adoption process for any of my dogs. Me neither. I literally got mine off Craigslist. Yeah, we. Yeah, I think my mom got Dash off of something. And then Diamond, the same thing. I think she got her off, out of a penny saver. We got Diamond. Really? A, we got Diamond a long time ago, back when people got penny savers. Yes. And then wow. Star was given to us. Oh. So I don't think we've ever like properly adopted a dog. Same. Same. Uh, like literally, the we like answered the Craigslist ad, and they're like, "Yeah, you want to meet the dog?" And then we met the dog, and then they're like, "Oh, you like the dog? Just take him home with you." And we're like, "Okay, sure, <laughs> sure." <laughs> Okay, we'll take them. Uh, well, as for me, my life is stressful. It's yeah. all, all I'm going to say. It's very stressful. I, I can't have like one thing happen. It's either nothing is happening or, or everything, everything is happening. Never, <sighs> never any in between. But on a bright side, I got a temporary job. Yay! It's only going to last two weeks. But they pay like I mean, 20, they pay like twenty four dollars an hour, so yay! Go off. They pay that's so, gonna be a pretty paycheck. They pay that much because I don't get any benefits, and it's only for two weeks. Like that's true. I'm getting one paycheck. But any money in this economy, girl, exactly. Also, I hear back from a company. They said by Wednesday whether or not I got a job. And then I'm going to have to try to do interviews with two other companies, even though I'm going to be working. I mean, that's how it be out here. We literally go from one thing to, to another. <sighs> that's the California life, but... California, wouldn't California change, things. Wouldn't change it for anything. Honestly, though. Every okay. other state is just crazy. Right? At any other state I've ever been to, I've always been like, cool, I want to go home. Right. And I used to like right. I used to live in Texas. That Which, was I'm glad you got out. Oh, yeah. You wanna know how I got out? Oh. Okay. So I was there. Third grade. Yes. Okay. And then for the summer I was like, I wanna go to California to like visit family. And then what and then I went out there. My mom was here. And then I literally called my mom one day and I was like, I don't wanna come back. <laughs> And we didn't go back. Like, she moved back out here. And we just moved back to California. Shout out to your mom for just was, being like, okay. I, hey. I, I was like, I don't like Texas. I hate it. I was like, can we please move back? And we did. Oh, my gosh. What a queen. Uh, she probably didn't want to be there either, then, if she was she probably willing didn't. to move. <laughs> she probably didn't. Right, because she could have been like, nah, we're staying in Texas, it's if fine she, here. Yeah, because if she wanted to stay, we would have stayed. She, yeah. she didn't want to stay. Obviously not. Uh, but we could also, like, chop it up to my powers of persuasion. That is also true. I mean, we know that's not the real answer, but we're going to pretend. <laughs> we're going to keep believing in your powers. We're going to keep believing. Oh, okay, Kelly. Okay. Are you ready? To. Are you ready to talk about Shark Knight <laughs> slash Shark Knight 3D slash Shark 3D? Yes, I am ready to talk about you, Shark 3D. You know a movie is bad if it has three titles. Yeah, yeah. Also, you can tell a good movie from a bad movie if the credits start at the beginning. Oh my god! Well, they have some credits at the beginning. Literally, they take up like that's, 15 minutes. That's my first bullet. We start off with almost four minutes of title of a title sequence yeah it's insane only the worst it's movies too much do that. if really if, though if your movie starts off with like an obscene amount of title sequence you know the movie's bad yeah you're either a really bad uh 21st century movie or you're an old time movie yeah from, from like, like the, the 30s. 30s like honestly there's no in between no in between at all. So let's get into this train wreck. Um, okay. So the movie starts off with some girl. She's swimming in a lake and she's scared by her boyfriend. 
while they're messing around, he like throws her bra like further into the lake. And then she goes to get it. And then he gets out to go get food. And then she gets attacked by a shark and killed. In a lake. Mm-hmm. In a lake. We'll, that, we'll, get, we'll get to that. The water is so shallow, by the way. Yeah, she's, she's standing. Liter- she's standing. And the water's not even shoulder height anymore. It's literally to her chest. And that's only because she's, like, keeping down so that her boobs yeah. aren't exposed to the camera. Because, yeah. like, earlier when she was standing up, like, she was, like, fully standing up. Yeah. It was only when she got, like, two steps further than, like, where she, like, it currently is in the movie. She, like, then she was kind of on her tiptoes. Yeah. But then she came back a little bit because I guess she didn't want to be on her tiptoes. She, she could just stand in the water. <sighs> That's one of the, uh, okay. So we then cut to Tulane University and we meet Malik, Gordon, and Nick. Malik thanks Nick for tutoring him and helping him get a B plus. And so he's able to keep his athletic scholarship. Can I just say that this scene, when we meet the boys, all of these guys look like they're over 35. Oh, they look so old. Also, when Malik bursts into the room and, like, says he's going to beat up Nick because, like, he thought he was, like, a good, a good tutor, he's like, you know, they can't, you know, I came up from the 401, I can't go back. I looked up the area code for 401. You know where it is? No. It's in Rhode Island. Do they have black people in Rhode Island? I don't think. Oh my gosh, like I actually literally... kind of forgot that Rhode Island was a place. Yeah, because I looked it up and I'm just all like, because like, he's making such a big deal out of this and saying his area code, so it must be like rough or whatever. It's freaking Rhode Island. Is Rhode Island a rough state? I don't even think about it, so I don't I know. See, I feel like it's one of those like, no cursing in my Christian Minecraft server kind of white area. What? part of the country is Rhode Island even in? Let me look. That's I, East Coast. Is, is it? Mm-hmm. It's tiny. Oh, it's like yeah, is it? Oh, it's like the little, it's like a little note. It's like, oh, it's like right next to Connecticut and Massachusetts. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's not a yeah. rough area. Yeah, I was about to say, like, there's just, like, white old people there. And it a is, lot of boats. There's a population of one million people. There's just no way it's a rough place. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's probably that one corner that the white people don't like going around, but that's probably it. Yeah. There's okay. no rough area in Rhode Island. <laughs> and so, yeah, they, uh, he thanks uh, he thanks Nick, and so as a thank you, he invites Nick and Gordon to go to Lake Crosby to celebrate. Nick is hesitant because he has his MCAT and a chemistry final to study for. But all that goes out the window when Malik mentions that they will be with Sarah Palski. Ooh. Sarah the, is worth more than his nursing uh, future. I thought he was going to be a doctor. I thought the oh. MCAT was for doctors. Is it? I thought it was for medical school. I'm I not a medical student. I'm not a medical student. I don't know. I feel like it's a medical thing but it could not be it, it is but i don't know if it's just for doctors or what either way either way um he's going to not become a doctor because yeah or pass his chemistry test yeah his chemistry test is supposed to be on monday and they're going on a, a weekend trip but i'll explain mm-hmm. it i'll explain it why it's even more confusing later i will yeah. i'll explain yeah. it um so then we cut to Sarah. She's at the gym and has apparently been on the treadmill for three hours. Three hours. <laughs> and she's like doing a light jog. Yeah. She's like, <sighs> yeah, that was a good workout. I'm like, yeah. how are you not dead? Yeah. Also, she looks like she had barely put on a sweat. Three hours? People run marathons in that amount of time. Yeah. That's yeah. insane. And she, like, doesn't have water or anything, or maybe no. that's just a jacked-up timer, and she's been on there for three minutes. Maybe. Her, 
if she's been running for three hours and she could just do that like it's nothing, her knees and ankles are going to be shot Yo. by the time she turns like 35. Yo. Honestly, though, because that's a lot of pounding on your knees. It is, especially on a treadmill. Yeah, because you you go a lot. I feel like you go a lot a lot harder on a treadmill for some yeah. reason. Like your foot falls are a lot harder. Yeah. And then so we then cut to two girls, Maya and Beth, talking on the phone. Maya's on her way to pick up Beth while Beth is getting a tattoo. In thirty or less minutes. Yeah. Don't go to that tattoo shop. No. Uh, lastly we meet Blake he's being like a human model plus sculpture for an art class yes yes don't don't know why they have students doing that I thought they had like outside people come and do that no no, they do that because they pay really well oh okay yeah like apparently human models they get paid very well and it's not as sexual as you think. Like, literally, they're just trying to get their proportions right. And they're probably crying because this is, like, their final. And they're like, I have to get this looking right. Oh, well, Blake made it sexual. He really did, which... He was, flir- he was flirting with one of the girls. Yeah, don't. Gross. It's not professional, but whatever. It isn't. Um, while getting ready to go, Malik shows Gordon and Nick an engagement ring and tells them that he plans to ask Maya to marry him. And so they meet up with Blake, Maya, Beth, and Sarah, and Sarah's dog. And they head off to Lake Crosby. Um, They arrive to Lake Crosby seemingly the next day. So here's where my problem lies. How was he ever going to make it back to his chemistry final? He wasn't. Unless they literally drove there and then immediately drove back. How was he going to make it to his chemistry final? Final. Because the 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 like travel vlogger esque like t- like speed up that they did for this oh like, it was driving very, scene it was very like two thousand and nine YouTube yeah. vlogger style mm-hmm. video it was mm-hmm. bad like you see them driving all over creation and it gets to night at one point and, and then, then when morning. they show up at the yeah and then they show up at the sh- the like bait shop in the morning it's daytime again. Yes, they drove for like 24 hours. Like, what happened? Yeah. That's, who takes that long of a trip just to go to a lake? I mean, unless they left like on a Thursday because they didn't have classes on Friday. Maybe. But then they're only, but then they're only at that lake for like one night and then they have to go back. I, it's not worth it to me. It, It really isn't. That's too much stress. Maybe, maybe we can play devil's advocate. Maybe Nick's chemistry final is at night. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Either way, he he's gonna take a test that he has not studied for for like three to four days. Yes. And then so when they get there, they stop by a convenience store, and Beth tells Sarah that she wants to hook up with Nick because. She usually hooks up with Blake, but he spray paints his junk and it gets stains all over. So she doesn't want to do that. There's so many things wrong with that sentence. So many. But we don't have time to go into that. We don't. Um, (laughs) Meanwhile, Gordon is telling Nick that if he wants to hook up with Sarah, he needs to do it this weekend and he needs to get her drunk to do it. Yeah. Problematic. Very problematic. Because he's like, you need to get her drunk or else she won't let you do anything. Yeah. That's like borderline rape. It is. Like if she says no, guess what? At the very least, it's coercion. Yeah, you're right. It's manipulation Uh, either way. And then we see that the cashier has a camera in the bathroom and is watching Beth and Sarah pee. All of the white men in this movie, garbage. Honestly, all the jail. Men, all the men in general in this movie can go. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> and so, outside the store, Malik and Maya are just like repacking the car with like all of the stuff they're buying. And two racist men named Fred and Dennis come by and start throwing racial jokes towards them. I say jokes very lightheartedly. Very lightheartedly. 
Uh, also, yeah. wh- I don't know his name because I did not care to learn it, but the younger guy. Dennis. Dennis. Yeah. Did you see his tat on the back of his neck? No. It looked like some very simplistic Confederate flag. Oh, tat. I know what you're talking about now. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. I literally saw it and I was like, he has what on his neck? I'm like, okay. Uh-uh. This whole situation gets worse. Um, yes. So unbelievably, Sarah, it so does. Sarah comes by and she happens to know Dennis hmm. and is able to calm down the situation, but everybody else is still freaked out. And then when Dennis eventually leaves, she looks very uncomfortable. Yes, as I was this whole time. This whole time. And then she quickly forgets that her friends were just racially... Yeah, attacked. Attacked. And so the group gets a boat, and they go to Sarah's family's cabin on a private island. How they have a private island in the middle of Louisiana, who knows? Also, this is not a lake. This is a swamp. Yes, it is. This movie easily could have been about crocodiles. Don't know why it was about sharks, but... Yeah. And so while out on the water, the sheriff attempts to pull them over, but Sarah speeds away and then they go on a high speed chase. Um, when they get to the island, we find out that the sheriff is a family friend named Sheriff Saban and they were just racing. This is peak white privilege. Peak white privilege. You know Malik was shaking in his boots. Yeah, like when when <laughs> like the sheriff leaves and then everyone's like, yeah, let's get out. Like, Malik was the last one to leave the boat. Did you see that? Yes. Like, he did not move. And I'm like, that man probably saw his whole life flash before his flash eyes. before his eyes. He probably succumbed to it and was slowly trying to be like, I wonder if I can end myself. Just He's like, like I am a black it. man in the middle of a swamp in Louisiana. Yeah, I am I, dead. Yeah, I would have thought the same thing. So, um... The sheriff Saban asks for a beer, even though he's driving a boat, shotguns it, and leaves. Yeah. Also, everyone in that boat was, in Sarah's boat, was drinking and with no life jackets on. Yeah. Safety at its finest. I don't know about other states, but in California, you have to wear a life jacket. Mm-hmm. Everyone has to wear a life jacket. But this was a different time. Maybe, yeah. maybe this was before <laughs> that happened. Also, this is definitely not California. No. Okay. And then, so, everyone gets to the house. They immediately put on their swimsuits, and they go out to the lake. Nick asks Malik about Sarah, and he tells her that she keeps to herself, and she pretty much just hangs out with her dog. She doesn't party. She doesn't date anybody. Same. I mean, I see myself on screen. Right. Like, what's the issue? (laughs) I have I can I can honestly say during my entire college career I did not go to one party. I mean, it's not that I was not invited. I just did not go to any party. Didn't want to go. <laughs> if you go on a if you go on a college campus the first week of school, you will be invited to a party. Yes. I yes. did not. You don't go. even have to know the person. You'll just get invited. No, there will just be people out on the quad or like in front of buildings just handing out flyers. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah. Unless you look like way too creepy like you're gonna get invited to a party yeah and then so back at the pool beth and gordon are playing beer pong when beth points out that blake is spray painting his balls he has like a little mister full of spray tan and he's just yeah I don't know what to say about that, man. Why they had to add that scene, who knows? Yeah. It didn't add yeah. anything to the movie. Really? You, they could have spared me. Yeah, they could but have they cut didn't. that out. Uh, we go back to the lake, and Malik is wakeboarding while Nick drives the boat. Uh, Malik gets knocked over, and when Nick, Blake, and Maya go back to find him, they see him swimming back to the island. They're like, oh, okay, he's fine. He comes up to Sarah and then we see that his arm was bitten off <sighs> okay this was <laughs> this was when I had a problem okay so I get they don't have this is when you had a problem 
I've had multiple problems already. This is just another problem I had. Okay. So. Okay. Sure. I get they don't have cell reception. They're in the middle yeah. of nowhere. I get that. Yeah. Yeah, Why is there right. no landline? That's literally what I put. I said, you're lying to me right now if you think the house isn't equipped with its own phone and landline. Like I was, I was like, you're telling me these rich people have their own island in the middle of Louisiana with this giant house, a pool, multiple boats, all of that. Uh, they can't afford to install a landline. Right. A radio system, something in case something. an emergency happens. Yeah. Let's just chalk it up to uh, horror movie logic. Oh, it has to be. Because yeah, that's the only explanation. Even even the dumbest of people would be like, so how do we get a phone out here? Right. Because you're going to want to talk to somebody. Something. You're either going to want to invite people over, you're going to need help with something, or you just want to talk to somebody. Like, right, like fire department. Like, even if it's just like a direct line to the police like something right something well they don't because they're they idiots don't. and yeah. so nick being the future doctor or nurse or whatever he is mm-hmm. knows that if they're going to reattach his arm they will need to put it on ice so he goes into the water to find it he does find it and it's like perfectly intact even though it was just ripped off his his body yeah but at that point that arm has been sitting in dank ass lake water. Yes. They, they, Do you want that reattached to? They later, they later tell us this is a salt lake. Um, the infection that would happen. Right. Also, it was bit off by a shark. Yeah. So you There's don't no think any cut. of that. Right. Yeah. No queen cut. Um, and so uh, he goes in there, finds the arm, but then he's spotted by a shark. He narrowly makes it up the ladder onto a deck with Malik's arm. And so they're like, we need to get him to a hospital. So Maya, Sarah, and Nick go on the boat to take Malik to the hospital. But his blood is dripping. Okay, how do I explain this? His blood is dripping into like a little thing. There's things on the boat so that water goes out of the boat. Drain. Drain, yes. So that the boat doesn't sink if it's like mm-hmm. raining heavily or something like that. And mm-hmm. so he's positioned perfectly. Yeah. So that the little drips of blood are going directly into the drain mm-hmm. and then thus into the lake. And water, yeah. And so they're being followed by a shark. Yeah. Also, like, Nick is clearly not good at his job. Or Maya's not doing a good job of keeping pressure on the arm because that man is bleeding a lot. He is. They for didn't... it to have reached the drain because he's sitting up on one of the seats. And yeah. when they show the scene, he, his blood is dripping onto like the, the like side of the seat and then it has to flow down to the drain. Yeah. That's a lot of blood for it to reach the drain. <laughs> like that man is dying, they y'all. Probably, put more they, pressure. They probably did not tourniquet it correctly they probably did not or they because, did and they didn't put enough pressure because they keep asking they keep giving nick like these plot points that like he's saving them with his medical knowledge but he's not even a med student yet no like they're all at the same college he's not at medical school yet no like the most he knows is all of like the muscles all the bones like yeah he knows anatomy he knows anatomy. He knows where things are in the body. And le- unless he's done like clinicals and stuff, he hasn't dealt with trauma like this before. Which honestly, most people know anatomy. Uh, most people know ex- exactly what he knows. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. Um, and so they're being chased I've watched by- Grey's Anatomy. I know. Oh, that. yeah. I'm currently rewatching it. That is true. I'm get- I'm getting my second medical license. Yes. He's becoming, he's getting his master's now through the Grey's Anatomy track. I'm, and, getting uh, my, I'm, I'm doing my specialty right now mm-hmm. in yeah. cardiothoracic surgery. Yeah. Yeah. So he's going to be a surgeon now instead of just a regular doctor. Exactly. And then, so <laughs> <sighs> this part made no sense. So the shark catches up to the boat 
Yeah, I. And it knocks the back of the boat without being hit by the propeller. Propeller, and it hits so hard that Maya falls out of the boat. Yeah, like even though she was sitting inside the boat, like fully inside the boat. Yes. Like I get that she's not strapped in or anything, but like. She was fully seated inside the boat. It wasn't like she was on the edge or something. Yeah, she was in the boat. But either way, she gets knocked off. And so they throw out a line to Maya while simultaneously Sarah is trying to, like, use the boat to, like, outrun the shark. Yeah. But it's not going well because, first off, she's flapping around in the back. Yeah, the fact also, that she, the fact like, that she how was she able, able to on, do that? Yeah, and hold on. Because, like, it was, she like, wasn't slapping, going that fast. It was slapping her down, like, very hard. Yeah. I don't know how she was able to hold on. And then, like, her feet were out. So I was like, that's not helping you. Mm-mm. And it didn't because the shark got her. Rip Maya. We don't see her die, do we? We I don't. don't. But we she, see her go under. And then she, and like fight for a little bit and then like that's it. That's it. We don't but, even see her body. No, we never. Apparently, see she's Maya like again. eaten whole. Yeah, that makes no sense. But yeah. And then so when Sarah turns around to go look for Maya, they hit something. Who knows what they hit? Yeah. Um, and it causes the boat to lose its ability to steer, and so they have to jump out of the boat before it runs into the house's, like, fuel line and explodes. hmm Yeah. And so... <laughs> it's, it's, it's very odd. Very. And so they take Malik back inside the house, and they try to come up with a plan to get help and off the island. And so they send up a flare, but Sheriff Saban is too busy rocking out to music to notice. Uh, later that night, a boat shows up on the dock, and it's Red and Dennis. Why they're there, who knows? It's never explained. And so everyone's like, Maya's dead, and Malik needs to go to the hospital. And so they're like, cool, we'll take him. Who wants to come Why they us? ever decided to trust them? The guy who was just throwing racial profanities at him, like not even 12 hours earlier? Who yeah. knows? And so Beth and Gordon decide that they're going to go and like call for the helicopter to come pick him up. Because mm-hmm. they're like, it'll take too long to take him on the boat. Yeah, and, they needed, and Nick was like, we need to keep him stable. Which made literally no sense to me. I Look, here's my reasoning, okay? I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, but so they're going to have to leave the island, right? Mm-hmm. Go off drive somewhere to get a phone so that they can call a helicopter, which is going to take who knows how long to get there. Yeah. Wouldn't it be more efficient to just put him on the boat and drive to the hospital? The answer is yes. Okay. So I'm not crazy. You're not crazy because they don't even know if any of the local hospitals have that kind of equipment. Like, it's not like every hospital has a medevac. Only the the um, the areas that need it and yeah. the hospitals that are equipped to handle people that need to be medevaced because that usually means, like, high-risk uh, patients. Yeah, and he, um, Dennis himself even said that the nearby hospital is crappy. Right. So... So they're a crappy hospital that happens to charter a helicopter? Right. Okay. I think it makes sense. Yeah, it didn't make sense to me, but okay. Um, and so we go, they go back inside the house. Blake tells Malik that Maya is dead, and he breaks down, of course, because the love mm-hmm. of his life is gone. And then, meanwhile, outside, Sarah tells Nick about why she hasn't been home in three years. Um, she used to date Dennis. But broke up with him because she was going to college. You know, that's what I always think you should do. But people yeah. don't People don't like to listen to logic, but whatever. And so a few days before she left, they went diving together. And her air gauge was broken. And she was trying to tell Dennis, but, like, 
he either was not getting it or he did not care and wanted her to drown. It's he did ne- not care and wanted her to drown. But here's the thing. We never learn which one. Like, it's never explicitly told yeah. to us. It's implied that he wanted it's her to implied. drown. Yeah. Because later on, he says something to the line of, like, you probably wouldn't have died. Yeah. And he's like, you don't know that, bro. Yeah. It's never explicitly told to us whether or yeah. not he wanted her to drown in front of him while he watched. And then so she somehow gets back up to the surface. Mm-hmm. She she gets onto the boat they were on and then accidentally strikes him, cuts off his face, and now he has a scar mm-hmm. on his face. Yeah. And then ever since then, she's felt guilty, and so she's just never come back. Which is me running from my problems, too. <laughs> I mean, same. Um, And then so on the boat with Dennis and Red. Beth and Gordon are starting to get freaked out because Red is creepy. Yes. Like, he has, like, his teeth and they look like they're filed down. It looks like a shark's teeth. It's weird. Yeah. And then, like, Gordon, uh, Dennis isn't talking. And Red is just, like, asking them so many questions about sharks he's like what the shark look like what kind of shark was it who got bit like all these random questions it's weird and then we go back to the island and malik has decided he is going to kill the shark with yes. his one arm and with a, his one arm and a spear yeah yeah man's went out into like knee height water and was like come fight me shark Knee high, dirty lake water. Yeah, with with his arm, with so... his arm cut off. Yeah, and then so Nick is like, "What are you doing?" Like he yeah. tries, he tries to stop him. He's like, please. he really does. He's like, please. He's like not getting in the water because like smart, but he's like, mm-hmm. can you please get out? He's like, yeah, yeah. He's like, come on, dude, you're not gonna beat a shark. Yeah. Uh. Uh-huh. Malik does not listen, and so he goes out, and then the shark is attracted to the blood falling from his arm stump. That he's still bleeding out, y'all. They <laughs> never stopped the bleeding. He did not stop the bleeding. How this man is still standing, I don't know. Right, he's been bleeding for hours. Hours. And then so, uh, the shark attacks him, but with some help from Nick, they're able to kill it. But this yeah. shark is a hammerhead shark. And this is where I lost my mind. I was like, why is there a hammerhead shark? Yeah. Are hammerhead sharks even anywhere near America? Aren't they like tropical sharks? I don't know, because I didn't start fact checking until maybe the scene right after this when they're actually talking about the sharks. Oh, I fact checked. And a lot of this movie makes no sense. A lot of this movie does not make sense. They kind of just looked up sharks and just said the names Let's just of throw them. them in a lake. Yeah. And they were like, we know sharks are saltwater fish, so we'll just say this is a saltwater lake. Right. Honestly, I think they looked up like saltwater um, shark species, and yeah. then they just picked all the ones that they thought sounded cool or looked cool, and they're like, yeah. Put yeah. Them in this lake. Let's just put it in the lake. Um, and so we go back to the boat. Dennis stops driving and forces Gordon to get into the water because he shoots him. Yeah. Um, and then he and Red admit that they put the shark in there. And so the shark attacks Gordon, and he yeah. could survive if he kept climbing the tree that he was climbing. But he yeah. decided to stop. And so a shark, like, jumps up and, like, kills him. Yeah. Also, do sharks jump up like that? Not really. I think I learned on Shark Week that that's a rare thing. Yeah, I, I only feel like that's, like, when you see, like, the great whites and, like, the seals. But, but seemingly, even then... Even then, that's not a thing they do a lot. Um, yeah. But seemingly in this movie, every shark... Every shark ...jumps does, out like, of the water. Yeah. And then, so, Gordon is dead, and Beth is being held hostage on the boat. We go back to the island. Yeah. There's so There's much a lot back of and back forth. and forth. Um, Nick realizes that the shark that attacked him wasn't a hammerhead. Like, it took him so long to realize that. And then... 
No. Okay. And then he 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 notices a camera taped to the bottom of the shark. Yep. How did they get a camera taped to the bottom of the shark? I don't know. And the camera is huge. It's so big. It looks like one of those old like handheld camcorders. Yeah. We're it's, not gonna we're not gonna literally talk, that big. We're not gonna talk about how bad the shark looked. We're not. Yeah, we're not. We're just gonna skip past that yeah. because yeah. You don't but, have the time. But it had a giant camera just yeah. taped to the bottom of it. Yeah. And like I've I've watched Shark Week. I've done the like a lot of nature documentaries. Whenever they tag an animal or they put a camera on it, it goes in their skin. Nev- yeah, it goes in their skin. It's not like you put a little dicky tape on the one side and just slap it on. Yeah. It don't work like that. Also, um, so so Blake is like, we need to get Malik off this island. Like he is like dying. And so he's yeah. like I'm going to take him on one of the jet skis and get him to safety. Mm-hmm. So we go back to the boat with Dennis and Red, and they force Beth to strip into her bra and panties. If, if I was Beth at this point, I would have just jumped to the lake myself. And then so Beth, being the strong-willed woman she is, Stabs mm-hmm. Red in the shoulder because he's being a pig. Good not, for her. Not because they're trying to murder her. No. Because he's being crude. Yeah. Um. And so Red is upset and he's going to like bite her. Like it made no sense. Yeah. He was going <laughs> to use his weird little shark teeth on her. But Dennis says, no, don't do it. Because I want her to meet a very special type of shark. They're called cookie cutter sharks. Never heard of them before. I'm pretty sure they don't look like that because they looked awful. Yeah, if they cookie cutter sharks do exist, it's like they they are a, small. It's like they threw a baby's face on a shark on like a tiny shark's body and was like, "Here you yeah. go." Yeah. Um. They then push Beth into a net where there's like encase the shark so that they can't escape. Mm-hmm. And they eat her. Beth never like climbs the net. Like yeah. it would have been very easy for her to just go yeah. over the net, but yeah. she never does it. Also, um, I'm surprised she didn't drown first because of all the screaming she did underneath the water. Yeah, there's a lot of screaming underwater. There's a lot of screaming underwater. A lot. We'll talk about it when we get to the towards the end of the movie because there's one part that happens that's utterly ridiculous. But yeah, yeah. And so we go back to the island. Sheriff Saban comes onto the island because he noticed the bonfire, and is shocked to learn that they've been attacked by sharks. And so Sheriff Saban calls ahead of Blake and Malik to make sure that doctors are ready when they arrive. And then suddenly Nick faints. Meanwhile, Blake and Malik are out on the water, and a shark is following them because Malik is still bleeding into the water. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) And so Malik decides that the shark will catch up to them and that it will knock them off and kill them both. So he decides to sacrifice himself. I I made up that part about him deciding to do it because it will kill them both. But that's probably what he was thinking. Yeah. Because he said something to the effect of, it's just going to be me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The the writing on this movie is terrible. So you just have to fill in the gaps. (laughs) Also, Malik, I'm so sorry for what's about to happen to your friend. (laughs) Yep. All that sacrifice for nothing. Mm So, um, well, tending to Nick. Sarah notices that her dog has eaten the soup that Sheriff Saban brought and is now unconscious. Did we you know ever what? did we ever see Nick eat that soup? No. We <laughs> didn't see him eat or drink anything. Anything. He just passes out. Just also, passes out. I thought the dog was dead and I literally put you put in my notes, I'm like, fuck you, I'm out. There were multiple points during this movie where I thought that dog was dead. Yeah. Spoiler alert, the dog never dies. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Dog never dies. 
Good yeah. boy. So that is that is the one shining point in this movie. Yes. Um, and so she notices that her dog is passed out, and she's like, "What's going on here?" And then she hears on uh, Sarah Sabin's radio, Red talking about how they just killed Beth. Aren't radios something that like anyone can hear? Yeah, to find the right frequency. So they're just talking, broadcasting it, to the Bro- whole world. broadcasting people's murders to the world. You know, yeah. some you know somewhere in Louisiana, a child was sitting in his room playing with radio and just heard a man say that he just killed a, a woman. Yeah. Yep. Fun. Um. That's therapy for him. And so. Beth freaks out and she grabs a knife. Uh, she tries to sneak up and stab Sheriff, but Dennis is somehow there. Yeah, somehow. And he grabs her. Yeah. Which makes no sense because Beth literally just died. So how did yeah. he get there? But yeah. Yeah, and how did he get there without the boat? Yeah, makes no sense. And so... Um, she gets away from Dennis because she bites him and then she tries to run away, but Dennis shoots her with a tranquilizer. <laughs> yeah. Um, Blake starts to make his way back to the island, but a great white shark jumps up and eats him. Why this shark ate him? Unprovoked? Unprovoked? No idea. No idea. Even after it literally just ate? Hey. Like, Make it make sense. And then so, um, Nick wakes up. He's inside of the boathouse next to a hole with two tiger sharks inside of it with the sheriff while Sarah is being put into a shark cage on mm-hmm. Dennis's boat. Dennis explains that he's doing this because she ran him over with the boat and messed up his face. He's killed like six people. Yeah. Over a scar that you can barely see. Yeah, whenever, like, they call him, like, Scarface at one point. I think Blake calls him Scarface at one point. And I'm just like, what scar? Exactly. (laughs) It's not even there. And even if you squint really hard, Like, if you, yeah, if you squint very hard, you're like, oh, yeah, I see, like, the little redness on your cheek. I thought thought you were just hot or something. Like, I couldn't really You can, like, see, like, a little ridge. Like where a scar would be, and I'm just like, and I'm like, I don't see it, man. I was like, sir, you're still attractive. Like, please yeah. calm down. Yeah. Um. And so he gets upset because Sarah's dog is barking because Red brought the dog onto the boat for some random reason, and so he's, he's just a good boy. And so he throws the dog into the lake. This is the second time I thought he died, and I was. Yeah, because, like, he throws him into the lake, and then we don't see the dog again for a yeah, while. Yeah, and we all just assume that th- this is shark-infested waters, and they will eat anything. Yes. And then, so, back at the boathouse, Sheriff Saban explains that they have been letting sharks kill people and filming it to sell to people. This this yeah. is a very niche yeah. thing. I don't know who they think is going to buy this. Well... He starts this whole thing about, like, he asks Nick, like, what's the most watched thing on TV and whatever, and it's like, it's Shark Week. And I'm like, it's That's not probably true. not. It's not true. It's probably not. And he's like, so we sell this, like, more hardcore stuff to the people who love Shark Week. And I was like, Shark Week is more educational than yeah. watching sharks eat things. Like, you're appealing to the wrong audience here. He brings up a snuff film that I don't oh, know. Yeah. If I don't know if it's real or fake. I'm not looking it up. But Why not? I, I, I'm not. You don't need that in the Google in the Google history. Yeah. Um. And he's like, yeah, people can like, like children can like download that for free. And I'm like, how many children are looking that up? Yeah. Like I bet right. you it's not that many. Right. Like how many eight year olds hear about this and they're like gotta see it i gotta see someone gotta being find murdered it. gotta find it and it's like mm, eight-year-olds have other things going on in their life i was playing neopets when i was eight 
Right. I was playing Toontown when I was eight. I don't know about the right. other children, but I was not doing that. <laughs> and so Sheriff Saban is going off on his random tangent to Nick. Um, and so Sarah is trying to like calm Dennis down. She's like, hey, calm down. We can be together. Mm-hmm. I still love you. Blah, 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 blah. And then so she uses this to like grab his gun, but he immediately wrestles it back. Yeah. I'm <laughs> like, just... <laughs> like instead of like stepping back a little bit, because she's yeah. inside of a cage. Yeah. She stands like at the edge of the cage with her hand outside of the cage. Mm-hmm. And then of course he just like grabs the gun and walks away. Yeah. I was like, bestie at that point, back up and shoot. Yeah, don't talk Just back to shoot. up and shoot. This man was He has you to... in a cage. Yeah, and he's this... willing to shove you into a lake uh, that's infested with a bunch of sharks. This man has killed like four of your friends. Just right. Just shoot. The police will understand. Yeah, this was self-defense, straight up. And so uh, he gets very upset. And so he like puts her up. Do not explain it. He like yeah, raises... he like lifts the the crane that's holding the cage. Yeah, and then like puts her over the water. The water. And then puts her in, but like not all the way, like enough yeah. so that her head her head is above water. Up. And then he throws um, chum on her. Gross. Uh, we go, and then he asks Red to release the great white shark. They had it in its own cage. How they got it in a cage, who knows? Yeah. Also, is there more than one great white? There in, has to be the more lake? than one because that, I don't know about the rest, but for sure that one that killed Blake was a Blake great was a white. Great white. Yeah, for sure. Maybe they just had another one that they did not release. Sure. Maybe they had two. And then so back at the uh, boathouse, Sheriff Saban like hooks Nick to a like hydraulic lift. And drops him into the pool with the tiger sharks and then waits for the tiger sharks to notice him and then pulls Mm -hmm. him out. Mm -hmm. Why? Who knows? Nick then uses a lighter he happens to have. Yeah. This lighter was not seen any other time in the movie. No. And where was he keeping it? Because he was wearing swim trunks and he like got it out of a back pocket that doesn't exist. Right. And his arms were tied pretty high up. Yeah. How did? Well, either way, he uses the lighter to burn off his hand restraints. Yeah. And then he throws it onto the floor where a puddle of gasoline gasoline is. And it causes an explosion that makes the sheriff fall into the pool Mm -hmm. where the sharks are. How that, how it made him fall into the pool made no sense. Yeah, so, like, the fire starts immediately once it hits the gasoline, and then he just gets on fire, and then he stumbles forward and just falls into the the hole. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, um, he falls in. Nick somehow gets out. Gets out without he, falling into the water. Yeah, because even though his hands are free, like, he's still tied to the, to the chair. chair whatever he and gets like out. his middle is tied his to middle the chair. And, and his feet are tied to the chair and then the chair is tied to the it's hydraulic to the lift hydraulic yeah so he literally just like we just see him pull up a little bit on the rope and then he's and out then we flash away and he's yeah. out and we're like how did that man get down and so, <laughs> who knows and so he gets down and then uh sheriff Saban is like begging for his life but then Nick just closes like the latch to the pool and As lets him get killed. Yeah, don't. If someone who tried to kill you is asking for your help, leave them alone. Right, right. And he did. And he was an asset. I don't know what the correct word is at the moment. To your friend's death as well. Yeah. The complex. I think. I think yeah. I was literally just about to say that. I was like, I think you did accomplish. <laughs> accomplish. Yeah, and so Nick then swims out to the boat where Sarah is being lowered into the water. 
Yeah, we don't know how far away this boat is, by the way. No. Plus, he but knows he, there's he sharks in the water. Yeah, he swam there. Um, and so Nick is on the boat and holds a gun to Red's head where he got this gun, who knows, and yeah. demands that Dennis brings her up. But Dennis throws a knife at Red's chest, killing him, and then attacks Nick. Uh, Nick is able to knock Dennis off the boat. Did he shoot him with the train dart? They made I it seem remember. they made it seem like he shot him with the train dart. But yeah. then that like gets thrown out the window. Yeah. So oh, I don't know. Um and so Dennis is in the water and um Nick starts to bring Sarah's cage back up before Dennis climbs the cage and then cuts the line that's holding it to the crane. Mm -hmm. Sarah's cage starts to fall to the bottom of the lake. And uh, Nick swims in after her. And he's, like, trying to, like, get her out of the cage. But Dennis starts fighting him underwater. And then Dennis... This makes no sense. Dennis, yeah. Dennis's leg somehow gets entangled in some rope that's yeah. attached to the cage. Yeah. How? Who knows? We don't know. And so Dennis is killed by the great white shark. Mm -hmm. The dog Sherman. Hey, Sherman! the dog is alive. Um, he brings Nick an electrified stick. And Nick uses it to kill the shark. Not what a just, good boy. Not just kill the shark, though. Like, the shark's head explodes. Yeah, which... Which, if the electric voltage is that high, how did it not kill them? Yeah, also, they're in water, which yeah. conducts electricity. Yeah, it made no sense. Yeah, they all should have died. And then, so, here, here's the part that made no sense. So, Sarah has been underwater for a long time, and she's, yes. like, running out of air. And mm -hmm. so Nick goes up, takes a gasp of air, goes down to her, and blows air into her mouth. That doesn't help at all. Let's just get her out. That's just blowing air and more water into her yeah. mouth. Because <laughs> it's not like lip to lip contact to do that is airtight, you yeah. know? Well, she has to open her mouth. Yeah. Like, it made no sense. And then so. Uh, Nick and Sherman. Sherman helps. They, Sherman helps. He's such a good boy. They they um they swim Sarah back to the boat, mm -hmm. and then uh Nick does some very poor CPR to wake her up. He was going so fast with that CPR. Oh, so he was going so fast, and then he was not pushing hard enough. No. And then he kept like blowing air into her mouth, which would not help. Is this man CPR certified? He's not because I used to be CPR certified. I was like, he's doing everything wrong. Right. I was like, like, I just, he was going so, he was like literally doing this on her chest. Yeah. I'm like, bro, that is not the rhythm you need to be having for CPR to work. And so uh, Sarah wakes up and they just kiss randomly. Yeah. They both almost die and they just yeah. decide at that moment it's time to kiss. Yeah. They also kiss earlier while she's in the cage. Still. Yeah. Which, besties, that ain't the time to do it. It really is not. And then, <laughs> yes. And then we get a shot of a shark randomly just jumping out of the water. And that's yeah. the end of the movie. That's literally it. The shark isn't attacking them. It's like yards away from them. And it's yeah. just randomly jumping out of the water. It just wanted to show off a little bit. So it just jumped out the water. Right. It was like, and scene. Right, right. Okay. Now here's your favorite part. You get to tell me what I missed. At the end of the credits, this is kind of a movie fact too. So like movie facts. Um, at the end of the credits, there is a music video for a song called Shark Bites, where the cast raps and sings. No. I watched the entire thing. No. Are you serious? Yes. Ah, uh, why? Is this an original song? Is this an it is an song? original song. It's the song is pretty much the plot to the movie. It's it's the plot to the movie. No, it was bad. No, 
I, Why did they think that was necessary? I don't know. It was bad. Um, oh, no. Next movie fact. Um, this is okay. the first shark movie to be released in 3D since Jaws 3D in 1983. Really? Yes. Um. I was like, wasn't there another one? But then I was like, no, that's that one's about piranhas. Never mind. Oh. Uh... For some reason, it just makes me think of, like, Sharknado. Which is another terrible movie that we should do. We should do Piranha. Oh, no. The movie is so bad. I think I've seen Piranha. So bad. Um, Sharknado is not in 3D. Okay. Shark Sharknado was so bad. Sharknado is worse than this movie. I will say that. It is. It was so bad, I couldn't finish it. I think I made it, like, 30 minutes into the movie, and then I turned yeah. it off, and I was like, Has I anyone can't. ever finished Sharknado? They've made like six of them. So yeah, they made I so many. Think so, you know how bad a movie has to be for me to give up on it. I know you'll watch anything. I'll watch anything. Yeah. If I give especially up, bad ones, if it's like funny enough. Yeah, if I give up on a movie, your movie is. Awful. It's beyond help. It never have been made. Yeah. Okay. Next shark fact. Uh, shark fact. Movie fact. It's a shark fact. Um, okay. Okay. So most of these sharks cannot live in lakes. <laughs> the only yeah. one that would be able to is a bull shark, and I don't think yeah. any of these sharks were bull sharks. Yeah, because I looked that up as well. Because I was like, "What sharks can live in like salt water lakes?" And it's literally the first one that came up was a bull shark. And from what I what from what I saw, they've never even found any bull sharks in lakes. They found them in rivers. Yeah. Which are connected to the ocean. So I'm like, mm-hmm. that makes sense. That makes sense. It's like one of those, like, this shark got way off track, and now it's in the middle of a river. Yeah. Because, shark... like, we get, we get that out here. It's not sharks. We get otters out in yeah. um, our delta because they've strayed very far away from San Francisco and came down the river to our delta. But, like, a shark? Yeah. A shark, a shark. in a lake? The way they try, lakes, the way they tried to explain it made no sense. Yeah. I mean, first off, this was not a lake. This was a swamp. Mm-hmm. But they were all like, "Yeah, it pro- it probably they probably just came in from a hurricane and they opened up the storm drain, the floodgate, yeah, and it went over the freeway when it flooded. Yeah, and it was like <laughs> what? <laughs> right." Like, this just shark, you're just going to be like, oh, yeah, let's go over this uh, highway into a small lake, why don't we? Yeah. Because they had a bunch of sharks in there. There were were at least four different types of sharks. Yeah. Like, how many hurricanes have y'all had that it flooded that bad? Or, like... Is this a a usual occurrence? Right. Do sharks just normally come in whenever you have a hurricane? Right. Like, all the other sharks that they mentioned, they are salt water sharks, but they're not lake salt water. I feel like a lake would not have enough uh, salt. Yeah. Because most lakes are landlocked anyway. So where are they going to get? Extra salt. Extra salt or, like, the um, current to, like, swish salt everywhere. Yeah. It's not making sense. Okay. Are you ready for the last movie fact? I am. So, this movie has an 18% on Rotten Tomatoes. Okay. Can you guess the budget? It's too high, isn't it? I would say so. Okay, <laughs> can you, okay. Can you guess? Uh, 500,000? Oh, it's way more than that. It's way more? It's way more than 500,000. <sighs> Don't tell me it's a mill. Oh, sweetie. <laughs> it's more? Yes. No. Three mil? $25 million. Oh, where where sorry. that money went, just... I don't know. 20 they, mil. They literally had two filming locations, so don't know how that could have added money. What did they blow that budget on? All, all of their actors were like, or lower level actors, so that could have like been it. Wasn't like they had great CGI either. Like yeah, and the CGI was terrible, so I don't know where that money went. 
Someone was embezzling. Someone was yeah, embezzling. Somewhere during this project, someone was stealing money because twenty million does not add up. No. Um, but good news, the movie doubled its budget. It made forty one point four million dollars. Yay! Wow. I good for them, I guess. Good for them. They have a hit. Oh, sheesh. Um, I just, I just want to know, like. What other films in 2011 were made with a 20 minute, 20 million budget that were so much better than this? I just want to know. I'm sure there were student films that were made that were better than this. That's probably not wrong. That's probably not wrong. Right. I've been in a student film and that it was popping, bro. I'm like, sure. It, I'm sure it was better than this. Like, right. It was about a forest siren, by the way. I was the siren, so uh, a the forest siren, like wee wee, or like no, a siren, like a woman siren. A woman siren. Okay, were you the siren? To their death, I was the siren. Oh, cool. Really good, but yeah, budget was so much less. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. Much better movie. And, like, the quality is so much better, too. <laughs> None of this 2009 travel vloggers, like, editing. <laughs> and can we talk about how there's so many well-known people in this movie, and they all suck? Bruh, the girl who plays Sarah, though? Sarah Baxter. What else have I seen? Yeah, what else have I seen her in? Everything. She's in Aquamarine. She was, oh, yes. She was the new Marnie in that Halloween town, in the last Halloween town movie. Oh um, gosh, she was in a her. much better horror movie. Oh, she's in the called... last house in the lab. Yes, that movie. Oh my gosh, she was in Sleepover and the superhero movie. Oh, I forgot she was in superhero movie. That movie is awful. That movie is awful. That's the movie. That's the one that has Kim Kardashian is in it, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, I remember correctly. Awful. <sighs> but yeah, it also has. The play the guy who plays Dennis is on Grey's Anatomy. Um, is he? Yes. Good. The guy who played Nick was on Shift Creek. Yeah. Um, the yeah. girl who played Beth is Catherine what's her name? She was on Smash and American oh, Idol. Um, what is her name? Catherine McPhee or something like that? Yes. And now she's married to like a multi million millionaire. Good for her. Good for her. Good for her. <laughs> and then the guy who plays Malik was in something. I can't remember. Hmm. He was in something. But like most of this cast I've seen in stuff before. Yeah. So. Oh my goodness. Do you think this movie is iconic? Absolutely not. Sorry. <laughs> Like, it's not even a bad good. Oh, no, it's not. Because at, at no point did I see something bad and, like, laugh. Like, yeah. I was not even entertained because it was so bad. Terrible. Awful. And I feel like and I feel like this movie took itself very seriously as, like, a shark movie. <laughs> oh, he was in Teen Wolf and Once Upon a Time. There we go. Once Upon a Time? I yeah. love that. He played Sir Lance a lot. I'm talking about Malik. Oh. Uh... Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I remember now. But yeah, this movie's awful. Yeah, absolutely. Um, they got like movie level. No, not movie level. They got like TV level actors mm -hmm. to be in this movie. Yeah. Which um, there may not be a different that much of a difference now, but back in 2011, there was a difference between a TV actor and a movie actor. Yeah, there was. Like they was huge. Like they've leveled up TV now. They really it's, have. Like this is like the early stages of Netflix, where Netflix mm -hmm. was like the only streaming service. Mm -hmm. So, um, TV acting was still like a lower acting. But yeah, um, these people are TV actors. Yeah. yeah this is like. And never should have been in a movie. Yeah. Yeah, this is the era of, like, you're a TV actor, 
and that's it for the rest of your life. Like, yeah. you can never cross over into movies. Like, unless your show was, like, a huge hit. Yeah. And and we mean, like, you had to be huge. Like, yeah. like Friends big. Yeah. Big Bang Theory big. Like, that yeah. was how you crossed over. Otherwise, yeah. you were going to be in TV for the rest of your life. Yeah. Yeah. Or you were a child actor, and people thought you were cute. So then you got smaller roles in movies. Yeah. And then that's how you made your crossover. Yeah. Otherwise, because back then you, there were TV actors and there were movie actors and yep. there was no mixing. There was pretty much no mixing. Yeah. A couple of people would break through. Yeah, but then they'd only be like the really big names and your TV show had to be like excellent. Yeah. Like you had to be either a really good like comedy TV star and then you would mm. get nothing but comedy movies. Mm-hmm. Or you, ha- or you had to be a really good dramatic TV star, and then you mm-hmm. could do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But honestly, I can't even think of any dramatic TV stars who like really broke out and got to do movies and became a movie I can't, star. I can't either. I can only think of comedy TV show actors who broke out mm-hmm. and then they got like comedy movies. Yeah. And that's all they've done for the for their yeah. career so far. But yeah, um, terrible movie. Don't watch it. Uh, or do if you're into bad shark movies. Listen to the, uh, you can watch the music video. Let me see if I can remember the Ooh. name. Um, shark Bites. Look it up on YouTube. Eesh. You know what? I'm going to see how many views they have on the YouTube. Okay. While you do that, do you have any recommendations? I do. Okay. Uh, my first one is a song by Citizen Queen. Girl group. It's, the song is called Y, literally. Heard of them. The letter Y. You probably heard their, like, uh, girl groups through the ages. Yes, so I did. That mashup is so good. Go check it out if you haven't. But, yeah, check out Y. It's, it's a nice, it's, well, it's a good, like, breakup song. Okay. It's like that sad kind of bop. Probably well, not good for summer. Like, why are people looking for releasing a such... <laughs> sad songs for the summer i will never I know, understand everyone, everyone is in their feels right now and i'm just like bro i kind of just want to bop <laughs> it's summer can we please yeah right like it's definitely getting a lot hard, hotter in california and stuff it's going to be like 80 degrees tomorrow yeah it's going to be 80 here today but it's like super windy so you can't really feel the heat but either way dude i just look up the shark bites music video it's not, i can't even find it on um Ooh, okay. I need well, to sorry. No, guys, you're going to have to go on Amazon, rent yeah. the movie. Yeah, watch the whole thing. <laughs> watch the whole thing because you have to pay $4. Yeah, somebody's watch, like, it's your money's worth. Why is it so expensive? Who knows? Right. When I uh, literally, when I saw it was $4, I almost texted you and be like, we need to change the movie. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, no, it's not worth it. <laughs> Um, my other, uh, recommendation is a movie. It's called Demon Slayer Mugen Train. Oh, I keep hearing about that on like TikTok and stuff. Don't know what it is, but I keep hearing about it. It's an anime movie. That's why. Yeah. And like, it's not like a standalone movie that you can go to the, to the, uh, movies and watch if you haven't seen the anime. So probably that's why it hasn't been doing so well in the U.S., but, like, it was so good. The animation was amazing. I cried at the end because it was so emotional. It's so good. Go watch it. It'll be worth it. I can't wait to go back to the movies. <laughs> I Yeah. When I oh told gosh. you, I used to go to the movies, like, once a month. Dude, this movie, I saw it in theaters, and... It's the first time I've been to a movie theater since like early 2019. The last movie, I can't even remember. It's one of two movies, the last movie I saw in theaters. It was either The Invisible Man or Bad Boys for Life. I don't remember which mm. one it was. It was one of those two. Mm-mm-mm-mm. But that was like over a year ago. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. And the next time I, we, we will be going to the music, the music to the movie theaters is July 9th. Yes. To see Black Widow. Absolutely. 
Nothing else is going to tempt me to go and I will be there. If they have a Thursday showing, I will be there for the Thursday showing. Like, I'm seeing this movie. Right. I'll be double masked up, but I'll be there. Right. I need that Marvel content. Yes. Like, I'm sad I have to wait for Loki in June. Are are they still letting people rent out movie theaters? Because, like, I'll do it. I'll do it. And you know what? If you look at the price of, like, uh, movie tickets right now, like, for the movie that we watched, me and my mom, we, we went to see it. It was $30 for just us two. It's $99 to rent out a um, movie theater, and the max people you can have is 20 Oh, I might do that just for fun. Like, that is that is so worth it. Do not know 20 people, but you don't. Me neither. <laughs> but it doesn't matter to have the whole theater to myself. I could get maybe uh, five to show up. Five or six. Right, I could get five right. or six people to show right. up. I'll go. Okay, I might rent a movie theater. I'll I'll see how that goes. I'll we'll see. see how that goes. We'll see. Um, as for me, uh, here we go. So, my my first recommendation is Grey's Anatomy. Stop booing! I know, I know. <laughs> So we get half the people cheering on one side and the other side, like, why do you still watch it? Don't boo at me. I know. Look, okay. I, I've gotten to a point where I've watched everything. When I tell you I have watched, I've been in my house for a year. I have watched everything you can think of. I've either yeah. finished it or I've watched it and I was like, I don't care for it. Mm-hmm. I had to do something. I was going insane. So I started rewatching Grey's Anatomy. Okay. I know the problems with the show. I know the problem should have ended. I know the show should have ended like five years ago. I I know. Okay. But I'm watching it. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm sitting here yelling at Derek Shepard every two minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know what's wrong with the show. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like, man, I didn't even, I have not watched this show in years. The only time I came back was to see Derek's death. That was the first episode I've ever seen. And I was like, oh, this is so sad. Really? I, I was like, let me watch the show. And then I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, your hopes were up here and now they're just non-existent. Okay, let me tell everybody, I, I've made this very apparent. For for the entirety of this podcast, I do not like Derek Shepard. No, he is a terrible man who thinks he's a good man. He's not. He's emotionally manipulative. He constantly cheats on his uh, partners. Yeah, constant. Like literally. There's not a single woman he's dated that he has not cheated on. Yeah. Whatever possessed Meredith to be like, this is husband material after he was a husband once. Yeah. And successfully cheated on that wife with you. Yeah. And multiple other people. Like, what? And here's the thing. Derek didn't even have to be a cheater. Mm-mm. He didn't have to be. If he had been a normal person and just explained the fact that he was separated from his wife, mm-hmm. I would have been like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But no. That would have gave, given me a little bit more respect for him. A little bit more respect. Yeah. And then, what season am I in right now? Four. I'm in season four. He broke up with Meredith because um she like fell into a lake Mm -hmm. and like drowned and like Mm -hmm. he's he got upset because she didn't fight to live yeah i'm like what does she have to fight for but honestly it's not i thought it was the ocean maybe it was the ocean i don't know it was the ocean it was with that that crash right yeah it was like the ferry crash yeah that was the ocean whatever she fell in she drowned um and then so he was if anything I, that was a cry for help and he should have yeah help. he he couldn't be any less unsupportive what were his words because it made me so upset it was something to the effect of i'm i don't want to have to breathe for you 
like he doesn't want to have to like yeah. carry her emotional baggage and I'm like yeah that's fine but why yeah. do you keep acting like a boyfriend even though you just broke up with her mm-hmm. that makes like, that that makes things so confusing yeah and then they start dating again and but they're not really dating yeah because literally he's like I love you even though I just broke up with you last week and so of course she's like I don't want to be in a relationship like because you keep leaving me Mm -hmm. and then he's like I want to be with you 24 7 all the time and I'm like Derek yeah Derek friend he's not my most hated man on this show and he's not my most hated person on this show but he's up there he's up there my my most hated man is Owen trash trash um my most hated that. my most hated person overall is Dr. Han she can <sighs> choke hate her <laughs> huh? but yeah she can choke. Uh, let me get off my high horse. It's fine if you want. If you want to hear me rant about this floor, I'm writing a dissertation about it. He's gonna do a whole TED talk. A whole TED talk. Stay tuned. Um, my next recommendation is also a movie. Okay. It's it's a movie I know we'll never watch, so I'll recommend it. <laughs> okay. Um, the movie is called Split. Great movie. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Kelly will never watch it. I will never watch and it. I, and I won't do that to her. Like, I won't Thank make you. her watch it. Like, she will be emotionally scarred, so I won't do it. Thank you. It's a good movie. It's about three girls who get kidnapped by a man who has multiple personality disorder. It's amazing. I watched it in theaters. Ah, it was great. Um, the sequel to it and the prequel to it are terrible. Oh. I there's do a prequel? Not, Unbreakable. Oh, I think I saw, like, the trailer for that. With Bruce Willis. Oh, everyone, yeah, 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 Everyone says that movie is great. That movie is not great. That movie is boring. And it's bad. The storytelling mm. is, like, all over the place. It sucks. Mm. And then I've never even seen Glass because everyone said it was terrible. So I'm not even going to watch it. But, yeah. Watch Split. It's It's good. And it could be its own standalone movie. Like, there's no need. No need for the other connections but yeah that's it for me so thank you for listening thank you don't forget to follow us on our social media we have a twitter and instagram they're both at s-y-t-y-i podcast also you can send us an email you can request a movie you can just Mm -hmm. say hi yeah. You, can, you can tell us whether or not sharks can live in a lake, even though we know they can't. Right. Any marine biologists in the chat? Yeah. <laughs> um, also, tell us if shark bites was your jam for 2011. Yeah. Were you sitting in the movie theater and then you heard that song and you were like, I need that on iTunes right, right. now. Right. Right. Let us, let us know. Um, our email is sytyipodcast at gmail.com. Don't forget to share us with your friends and your family. Yeah. Subscribe to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Podbean, everything. Everything. Anyway. Stitcher, Bullhorn. What are, what are some other ones? I think that's all I can remember. Yeah. Um. Don't forget to leave us a rate and review on off. Don't forget to rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. Also, hi. Here here I am again to tell you. Um, so, I'm going to need you to get vaccinated. <laughs> um, I have things to do, people to see. Mm-hmm. He's got a list. Um, I have a list of things to do. This summer, I will be out. The streets are calling my name. Mm-hmm. It's hot girl summer. Yes. I'm going to have a little bit of money in my pocket now. So <laughs> true. <laughs> want to be true. out. Um, I also, when you do get vaccinated, as you should, if you can, um, mm-hmm. I need you to wear your mask 
still. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know this. I, the CDC said you don't have to wear it outside if you're vaccinated. That's fine. That's fine. When you're when you're inside, wear your mask and wear it properly. Yeah. Over the nose. Yeah. Don't care how annoyed you are at it. No, I'm. You think I like wearing it? I don't. Right. I like to breathe fresh air too, just as much yeah. as anybody else. But things must be done. Yep. Um, also, are you washing your hands still? Yes, and like properly. Properly. None of this like under the water. Take them out. You're good. Yeah, that's not washing oh. your hands. That's wetting your hands. Um, mm-hmm. You need to put soap, and then you mm-hmm. need to rub that rub. soap in. Yeah. You have to go front, back, in between the fingers. Scratch to get underneath the nails, all of that good <laughs> right, stuff. Right, right. And then you have to do that for 20 seconds. Mm-hmm. Bop, to, bop to your favorite summer bop. Not 10, not 15, 20. Yeah. Just like do a little one, two, three, or you can do A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I don't care. Just do it. Just do it. And then, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Um, yeah, so please do that. And then um, mm. while you're at it, stay iconic. Stay iconic, y'all. Bye. <laughs>